So to start, I'm going to take some lead wrap, lead wire in 0 0.015 and just wrap it up. So I did 25 wraps with that, maybe 20, 26 or 27 with this extra little tag here. Now I'm going to take some Danville's 140 and an olive and lay down a little base for the eyes. I have black bead chain eyes in size large that I'm going to put pretty close to the eye but still leave enough room to whip finish and put a little dubbing up front. And then I'm going to do some soft wraps back over the lead. Make a little bit of a thread bump back behind here so when I secure it, it doesn't spread out at all. And then make our wraps over the lead. Get everything nice and secured. And I'm going to wrap it right down to the tip of the hook right there. The point of the hook, that looks good. Well, that looks good. We are going to take our Wooly Bugger Marabou Feather and a light olive. Going to have a lot of movement there. This is going to be our tail. And I just want to tie it right about the length of the shank of the hook, right about there. Take a couple loose wraps. Make sure it's where I want it. That looks... Pretty good, right there, and then I'm just going to progress this up towards the eye of the hook, give that fly a little bit of body, and I'll nip it right about there, and then make our wraps back towards the bend of the hook here. I like that. Make sure it's covering everywhere. Beautiful. Brush it out just a bit. Perfect. So now we're going to wrap our thread back towards the marabou. And I'm going to take our loco legs and olive, one full leg, wrap it around the thread and secure it to the side just like that and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now I'm going to pinch these legs together and to trim them you want them to be roughly about twice as long as the marabou that we tied in so right about here should do the trick. And then they'll hang off just like that. So now we are going to create the body of this fly. And to do that, I'm going to use some Hairs Ear Plus dubbing and olive. And I'm just going to create a dubbing noodle on my thread by twisting the dubbing right around it just to build up a bit of a body here and then we're just going to wrap forward trying to keep it nice and even and the cool thing about this fly is it's such a simple and cheap carp fly not complicated at all to tie has a really nice presentation in water and it can mimic a lot of different things. It's not like it's meant to mimic one, like a leech or a crayfish or anything like that. It can be a lot of different, different things that a carp would be looking for down there underwater. And then I'm just going to keep building up this little dubbing noodle here. And then again, we will wrap it forward, trying to slowly build that body up a little bit. 
That's looking good. I think I'm going to do that one more time <clears throat> until we are right there behind the eye of the hook. I like that. Nice little body to it. And now we are going to grab our hackle feather. And I am going to tie this in from the tip. I'm just going to lay it right on top to capture it. And then wrap it back to secure it. So next we're going to grab our hackle pliers. And we'll secure the hackle and then I'm just going to gently brush it out a little bit. Try and keep those feathers from getting trapped, those fibers. And then I'm just going to slowly wrap it forward. Doing my best not to trap any fibers as we wrap it. So I'm just going to gently pull those back. Do the same on the top. Pull them back. like so, and then I'll bring my thread around and trap that hackle and just come in from the side and nip it off. Now I'll just take my brush and brush everything out. Make sure we didn't trap any fibers in there. This will also lift some of that dubbing on the body up, make it look a little more buggy. Perfect. Now, we are going to take our olive dubbing again and make another dubbing noodle right here on the fly. And build our head of the fly. And I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to make some wraps over the eyes now to cover up all of that work here. A couple X wraps, and then I will grab my whip finisher, and we'll do a quick little whip finish. And then to give this fly just a little bit extra, a little bit extra. I'm going to take some 140 denier in fluorescent orange and we're going to give it a little hot head. Don't need much. Um, so after I secure it, I'm just going to do a couple whip finishes. Maybe one more. that. Finally, I'm just going to take my dubbing brush, lift up some of the fibers of that head, help it look a little buggier. And there we have it. Barry's Carp Bitter. Super simple tie, very effective, and a fun one to fish. <laughs>